Hey, what's up? Working on the boat again today. We had to shop because it's like cold outside. So we didn't have a whole lot going on in the shop. So I just bought the boat over the other day and been working on it all weekend. Um, just kind of give you a recap. We did the seat upgrade and batteries relocated and the wiring for that trolling motors um put my my cheesy guide poles in i don't think y'all seen that but i'll kind of show you all that real quick they uh when i first got this boat i always uh when i was driving it at night um the lights are kind of low so i wanted something a little higher so i made these and you know they're kind of guide poles too for when they take the boat to the lake they're not submersible lights, but I'm not going that deep anyway. But basically, I just got me a piece of PCV pipe and some, got me some bulbs, some lights online from eBay. I just ran the wires and tied them down into the parking lights. I just ran the ground to the trailer ground. That's all it is to it. But yeah, hopefully that'll make things a little better to see at night. So maybe guide the boat on a little bit better but yeah I ran some more tape down I'm just going to tape all of the the wiring for now I'm going to see how the that gorilla tape holds up but yeah so today we're going to uh, we're going to put this bad boy on I uh, went to Bass Pro and got me this yesterday and yeah, we're gonna install that um, I read the directions it seems pretty easy and you know, just a couple of wires and which I've already run the wiring for it I know where I'm gonna put it so that's where the wire comes in right there and I still have to figure out a mount for it I don't know I got me some wood because I'm going to replace the wood on the back of that. I'm just going to put a piece over top of it because as you can see it, I'm kind of paranoid. It doesn't hit all the way. And I didn't have any problems with it last year, but I just don't like that. So we're going to put a new piece and cover it. So that's what we're doing today.
too thick. You gotta be kidding me. So I found out that my new motor fits on there, but the old motor don't. The other thing I don't like, and I guess it's going to depend on how it sits in the water, is I'm kind of in between two clicks on this thing. It's either pointing in the water like this or it's pointing in the water up like that, but I guess once we get it in the water, it might change, but that's going to throw transducer off if I mount it on to the onto the uh, transducer on the motor for the, the fish finder which is what I wanted to do so that's that's going to be something but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this on here I think I'm going to take a sander and sand the area down because it almost fits and I'd rather see if it's a whole lot better than what it did before. It was only catching like three quarters of it right there, which eh, maybe I'm being too picky, but uh, all right. So that's where we're at. I'll have to take a grinder of that. But I'm thinking about putting this piece of wood here just so that I can set stuff on it and I can mount my My fish finder on it, but I don't know. It's going to take up some room right there. Maybe if I got a smaller piece, like a six inch, that's a one by eight right there. So I'm, I'm still not sure how I'm going to mount this thing yet. Um, I'm not sure. I might call my buddy up and have him come over here and have him put another set of eyes on it. So that's kind of where we're at. I wish I had a sander here. I don't have one at work though. But. I might find something, but all right, that's where we're at with that. So done deal. So let's see here. We got a uh, got an instruction manual on how to mount and everything. Some screws, some wire ties. This is the uh, motor transducer base. We got a big old. I'm not going to use this. They say if you fish in cold weather, which I don't, but I'm afraid that thing will break, so I'm going to get me a steel worm clamp. This little plastic, no, this rubber goes in here as an insulator. All kinds of mountain hardware, transducer itself, got a base mount for the, the kit, and then here's your, your, that mounts to the Garmin, you got your Garmin, and then power, ground wire, and there you go. This is where I sat right here. So I would typically like to have this thing sitting somewhere right here. It would be really cool because it's so, it's got a small screen. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it. This is the only place I really got to mount it right now. So I'm not really sure. I'm kinda, I think what I might do is mount it here for now, just to see. But the thing is, I can't reach it from there. I need to be able to reach it from where I'm sitting. So I don't know. It would be nice to have it right here. Right here would be nice. And have like a little pole or something. I'm going to have to work on that. We might not get it mounted today. I don't know. Unless I use this piece of wood. But. Um, yeah we'll see. If nothing else I get the transducer mounted. So we'll do that. We'll see about the rest of it later. Alrighty. Let's start back here with the transponder or transducer, whichever you want to call it. So yeah, basically we got this rubber washer here. And this little this little piece slides right in here like this. Stick your bolt in just to make sure it lines up. Make sure that this is in the front, and then the brackets going to go on like so.
And then you got your little, little washer. There's one in there. You know, I don't like that wire like that. I think the wire goes to the front with the little cutouts for. to get off. I'll just pull the wire through. They definitely give you enough cable. I'm guessing, I think I read somewhere it was 20 feet even though it doesn't specify it. So, for my little John boat, they give me plenty if I wanted to mount it at the back. With the batteries in the front, or if I wanted to mount it in the front, go to the back. Over 16 feet, you're probably going to be about hurting though. So, um, watch me get all the way down here, and it won't go through. That's what I thought. Oh, there we go. All right. So, you know, put our screw, washer, and nut. It's got a nylon nut. I guess so you don't lose it. I'm going to tighten that down when we get down over there. All right. I'm not this bad boy. Need this. This goes in between it. That goes in between the motor. I guess to absorb vibration. And then I'll this goes on it, but we're not using this. I'm gonna see if I got a worm clamp. I'm gonna put a worm clamp on it. Hey, what's up? We're back. I think I figured out some way to uh, mount this thing. Um, I had some wood that I was working with to uh, set up the the motor in the back, and I had some left over. Check this out. This, this worked out pretty good. So I cut a piece and I ran it under the seat, and this is where I'm gonna mount my Garmin right there. I've already took the seat in it and I can reach it. I can see it real good. I think it's gonna be a pretty good height. I don't think water's gonna get on it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some sheet metal screws and I'm just gonna run like four of them right across there. I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's, it's wedged in there pretty good, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna do that to both sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and mount that thing right there. And that'll work out great. Yeah, I can, I can turn around, I can drive the boat, I can see it while I'm driving and everything, so. It worked out pretty good and my uh, my feet aren't in the way of that piece of wood and whenever I get in the boat I get in on you know up here anyway I don't get in the back so I might uh I might end up closing this piece off I don't know we'll see we can put stuff up under there we'll play it by ear but it worked out pretty good I think it's gonna work out all right so that's where we're at right now I'm gonna go ahead and Put some drill screws in it and we'll get this thing wired up and mounted. Not a big deal.
And I got my, my hot wires right under here too, so all my wires are right there for the ground and everything, so that's gonna work out perfect. Like that. Bam ba dam. Tell you one thing I don't like is um they don't give you any connectors with this. This is all the lead wire that they give you. That's it before it hits the fuse. That's all. So you better not mess up because all you got is like four inches of wire and that's all. That's kind of ignorant. I don't understand that. But either, the only two wires you're going to use as far as to hook it up is red and black. These two wires have something to do with data sharing, which I ain't really, I ain't sharing nothing with nobody. So, But, I mean, I'm going from a big gauge wire to a little teeny weeny wire. That's kind of ridiculous. I guess they just use the cheapest that they can get to run whatever. But, I mean, I, because of the connectors that I used, I got a big hole. So, I'm probably going to strip this down and then fold it two or three times so that I can ensure that I got a good good crimp. But that's, that's kind of wimpy, folks. Y'all need to do something better than that. Garmin, that's not cool. This is pretty crappy. These wires are so small, they don't even fit in a pair of, of wire strippers. Look at that. 
Come on, y'all. Y'all need to do better than this. This is crap. Damn wires are so small, I'm afraid I'm going to rip them out. Yeah, I will give that a bad review on uh, Bass Pro about that. I know it ain't Bass Pro's fault, but that's where I bought it from. So, Tom Garmin, y'all need to step up your game with these little teeny ass wires. That's crappy. All right, let's crunch these bad boys down. If I get in the habit of grabbing the base, don't be grabbing this because I don't know how that will hold up. See what we got. Well, it should be powered up. Well, heard a blip. We got Garmin up. There we go. English. Store demonstration. Well, let's just take that off. Time format, 12 hour. Well, we got power, so <clears throat> I'm good to go. Um, let's see if I can get in a little better. Here, yeah, maybe I'll through this thing. This will be learning learning cap for both of us. Start up. I'm going to leave that on for now. Let's see. System units. I don't want metric, so we're going to go with statute. Format time for is 12 hours. We'll do with that. U.S. time zone. I'm on the East Coast. Daylight saving time. We're going to do automatic. Position format. This is HD degrees and M. I'm going to say that's miles, but let's see what it says. British grid, HDD, MM, MMM. Let's go on down here, India zone. I'm going to leave that where it's at. I'll have to look into that because I have no idea what that is. Here's a grid. Oops. Position format. HDD, MMM. Okay, that's where it was. So we'll do that. 
All right, that down position format. We'll have to look into that. Position format. All right, next. Shallow water alarm. Yeah, let's do yes on that. I don't know what the shallow water alarm is. As far as if you can set that or not, I'll look into that. And we've got traditional flash or split frequency, waypoint, settings, customized home, and it goes right back up. Of course, we ain't got no data or anything because I'm not in the water, but it does look like that the GPS is up because I got three little bars there. Probably in this warehouse I might have four, but I don't know. But yeah, there we go. We're all set. Can't wait to use this thing. Traditional. I like saying I'm not in the water so it ain't reading anything. Dual beam truck 200. Split frequency waypoint. Let's see what user data is. Waypoints track route search manage data. Customize home. Rearrange, add, remove. Data graphics, numbers, flasher. New layout. Settings. System my vessel alarms. Units and navigation. If it's under alarms, navigation, system, sonar. Shallow water looks like it's set at 20 feet. Well, I wonder if there's a way we can change that. Change depth. Let's do five feet. Five feet, there we go. Deep water on, off, water temperature off, fish off. So yeah, pretty cool. Well, um, I'm excited now. So that's about all it is to hook one up, folks. Um, actually didn't take too long. It took me a little longer because I was in this video while I was doing it. Well, it didn't take too long. Um, it took a little long because I was doing the video, but I mean, it's pretty simple. You read the instructions, it's pretty much just mount it where you want it. it. Took me a little longer to figure out how I wanted to mount it, but I think what, I'm, what I got is going to do me pretty good. I can reach it and everything. Um, they, uh, one thing I did read is that I got all this extra wire. They say you can't cut the transducer wire and you're not supposed to wrap it around itself because it gets false readings or something, I don't know, whatever. But I'm going to I'm gonna try to, I don't know, maybe I'll make me a little box or something to put in. I just hate to have wires hanging all over the place. Um, and I don't want to cut the power wire because in, in case I, I do move it or, you know, want to carry it to another boat or something i won't have to extend the wires they'll still all be the same so yeah i'm pretty excited when i get this thing out on the water um maybe i'll carry the camera with me i want i do want to do a camera mount that's probably going to be the next thing i'm going to do um I'm kind of running out of money right now because other stuff's going on with the house and you know i need to save some money up for that so this was an early birthday present from my wife because my birthday is in June. She said, go ahead and buy it. So, and then it has a gift cards. So I knocked the price down. I paid $90 for it. If I'd have bought it two weeks ago, 
I'd have got it a whole lot cheaper because it was on sale for a hundred dollars. It was on. It was. Uh, I paid a hundred twenty for it today, but I had thirty dollars gift certificate, ten dollars off of that. So, yeah, cool beans. I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, as always, subscribe for some more episodes of my boat. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening.